Hawaii is such a special place because you have all the diversity, not only from island to island, but from the different sides of the island. You have the desert side, you have the rainy side, the water spectacular, the, the interior of the islands are incredible and they're all different. For decades, PGA Tour and Champions Tour players have competed on the islands of Hawaii. But it's the aloha spirit that creates an environment where they can relish their time outside the ropes. We started coming here in 1980, my first year on tour. I never really got to enjoy a lot of places because I was always playing, but I made it a point to enjoy Hawaii. John Cook's ocean excursion with his daughter Courtney started just off the coast of Oahu. Go for tan. Right here. <laughs> <laughs> Where the two enjoyed a mixture of snorkeling and snuba-ing. It's a shallow water dive. It's a raft that sits at the surface of the ocean. You've got a 20-foot hose and you've got a mask, a regulator, that's just clipped to your body in a harness. And you've got flippers and a weight belt to get you down. It was great being out there with Courtney. It was pretty exciting for us to see you know, big turtles and different types of fish and how close they come to you. The sea turtle was so amazing. It just obviously came out of nowhere. Just being that close, it was hard not to want to touch it. <laughs> The Hawaiian Islands have been good to the Cook family, I can tell you that. And I, I think it's just a serenity when I get here. We're beach ocean people. And when I get near water like that, I, I feel a good energy. While the Cooks made a splash, Jeff Sluman stayed dry in Koalina, learning Hawaiian cuisine from world-renowned chef Roy Yamaguchi. Looking at your chef coat there, Hawaii Food uh, and Wine <laughs> Festival, near and dear to my heart. Can you tell me a little bit about that? We're very fortunate that we started the Hawaii Food and Wine Festival uh, four years ago. So we just had our fourth annual. And it's a great event where we showcase the, the bounty of produce, uh, the meat, the fish of Hawaii, mm -hmm. and showcase the, li uh, the lifestyle, the culture of Hawaii. All right, Roy, we just got some unbelievably looking food delivered. Can you kind of Tell us what it is and then what you're trying to do with, with your taste. You know, this is our, our, our butterfish, and that's been on the menu since the opening of the restaurant. And that's basically sable fish, or you can use black cod. Mm -hmm. And uh, that has a wasabi sauce, and we have some great bok choy and some uh, lotus roots, uh, all from local farms here. And so it's pretty cool. And you just kind of dig in, and you can grab it, you can use a fork, you can use a knife, chopsticks, you know, whichever way you want to eat it. You can see I'm butchering the. Uh, Chopsticks, but mm. We have a lot of great chefs in our company, right. and it's all about teamwork. So we have great creativity from our chefs that participate, and we end up with a great dish like this. As Sluman finishes a hot meal, Ooh, it's a hot seat. Fred Funk works up an appetite on the trails of Kuo'ala Ranch. It's spectacular. The scenery is incredible. You're seeing the interior part of the island that you can't get to. And all of a sudden you come around a corner and you get this beautiful ocean view. And then you get up into the hill and you come around a corner. Now you're looking down through the valley. Now here's the first tee. Beautiful view. Don't get any better than this. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> we get to share this beautiful piece of property with a lot of different people from all parts of the world and to see them have a good time and leave with another story that they can tell their friends, that's what we live for. 10,000 pounds, baby! <laughs> the golf over here is spectacular is what we come over for, but it's really neat what they've done to create this opportunity for people to come in here and see the natural beauty that's here. 